Godsmack on the Valley's Best Rock, 105.1 The Blaze. Rash hanging out with Justice, which means it's time to review some movies. The movie industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews. The Morning Blaze is bringing justice to the movies. Welcome back, sir. What's up, dude? Every Friday, uh, Justice comes in to review a movie. Now, typically the way Bring Justice to the Movies works, uh, we hook up with our friends at Maya Cinemas. We send you to the theater along with Justice. You get VIP seats, free popcorn, sodas. You check out a brand new movie before all your friends. And then you tell us uh, what you thought. Well, a couple problems with that right now. Uh, <laughs> the... Uh, you know, not just the theater not being available, but the the movies themselves are not available. Yeah. That's, I guess, maybe even a bigger problem. There are, aren't really new movies to see right now because all the studios are waiting uh, uh, for their big big releases. So instead, what we've been doing is we've been giving each other movies to watch at home for Bring Justice to the Movies Home Edition. Uh, this week, Justice, you got... Contagion. Which I have a feeling we're going to spend more time on. So I'll get mine out of the way first. <laughs> I, watched, uh, I watched Spies in Disguise. My, uh, my daughter is six. And uh, every time I watch one of these movies for the review on Thursday, typically she, that's usually when I watch movies, it's Thursday yeah. afternoons, I, she has to leave the living room because they're usually <laughs> movies she can't watch. So she was very excited. She got to sit and watch the movie with me. And I will tell you this, uh, she enjoyed it a hell of a lot more than I did. Uh, Spies in Disguise is a cartoon and stars uh, Will Smith as a secret agent and Tom Holland as the, the secret agent's gadget builder guy. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's it's okay. It's I mean, like, kids' movies are, there's two types of, well, no, there's not really even two types of kids' movies. They're all kind of the same movie. I mean, it, yeah. it's it's geared for kids. There's a couple jokes in there, a couple, like, kind of adult and kind of, you know, sexy references that yeah. they won't get. That you're like, oh, he just looked at his junk. That's supposed to be funny. But I'm like, <laughs> all right, I'm, I, I'm over it. I get it. It was okay. If you have kids... They'll watch it. They'll think it's cool, but uh, you'll fall asleep at some point. I promise you that. So if you got kids and you're looking for something to occupy their time with for an hour and 45 minutes, sure, spies in disguise. Why the hell not? You could do worse, I suppose. Now, on to the one I really want to talk about. You can do much worse. Contagion. Oh, God. No one needs to watch this movie right now. Uh, I picked this movie for you for, uh, <sighs> I feel like, obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the real-world pandemic is causing a lot of people to have <laughs> a lot of different questions. So why not watch a movie where an even more dramatic version of this takes place? Tell us about Contagion. Yeah, don't watch this movie. At least for me, anyway. It just made me even more paranoid about everything. Um, so Contagion, obviously, is about a global pandemic, just like what we're doing dealing with right now. Uh, it stars... A lot of different people. Like this is all star cast. Uh, so it starts with Matt Damon's wife is in Hong Kong. Okay, and she comes home and she's one of like five people. Wait, who so initially... this in the movie? In this movie, it starts uh -huh. in China too. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, one so for she's one. she's like initially one of five people to, uh, I guess, catch it there uh -huh. and then spread it. Okay, and it, was, it just freaked me out more because she's on a plane. Like it's showing everything she's touching. And you're just like, oh, this is all everyday stuff. <laughs> like, she uses her debit card, and, like, the next person has... Oh, like, oh. So, like, like, contact tracing Oh, for yeah, you. yeah, completely. <laughs> oh, they're, no. they're doing, and they do it for all five of them, so oh, it shows, no. like, in every different country how it happens. Um, so, I mean, essentially, it's how it starts. I feel really bad for Matt Damon. Like, apparently, there's just a couple years where he was like, I'm going to do a crisis movie every year. <laughs> because in this one, he's married to Gwyneth Paltrow. So that she, sounds dreadful. Just that passes, alone by itself sounds awful. <laughs> so she passes away like after two days because this incubation period for this thing is like insanely fast. Uh, she passed it to her son. Oh, no. So he loses both of them in the first 15 minutes of the movie. No way. Then 20 minutes later, he's getting questioned by somebody from the World Health Organization. And she's asking if his wife knew anyone in Chicago because she had a long layover for a flight. And he's like, oh, yeah, there's somebody she used to date in Chicago. Why? So and no. he eventually does the math and figures out that guy died because his so wife was all cheating up front on him. At the beginning of the movie, his wife, his kid, both died. Then he finds out that his dead wife was cheating on him. Mm -hmm. So this is a feel good movie, is what you're saying? Oh, totally. Okay. Totally. All right. Let's 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 skip towards the end of this. <laughs> is is there any resolution when this thing? It's an older movie, so don't feel bad about spoiling it. Just, is, <laughs> th is there anything in this that leads to any kind of positive outcome? Uh, yeah, they do find a vaccine. But it's because a scientist was just like, I'm just going to try this on myself because we can't do human trials for another three months and people are looting and everything's insane right now. And yeah, you, people think that what is currently happening is bad. No, 
in this movie, it goes full almost So Karen apocalyptic. fighting with the Costco folks is not going to be the worst thing that happens? No, uh, this is a bunch of Karens fighting with the army trying to pass out supplies to people. <laughs> well, that could, that could happen, that, too. That's what happens in this movie. <laughs> I can see that happening, too. And full looting and stuff, but they, they figure out a vaccine. And what really sucks is at the very end of the movie, it like cuts back to kind of, I guess, the beginning and just says day one. You're like, what the heck is this? And it shows a bat fly from a fruit tree. And it drops a piece of banana to a pig, and the pig eats it, and that pig goes to that casino that Gwyneth Paltrow's at. No. The cook was making it with no gloves, and he shakes hands with her and takes a picture, so it shows like the initial contact and how this whole thing started. So, yeah. So I, you're, I never, did, you're never leaving the house again, I guess. I, 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 I don't want to. I, <laughs> don't, right, well, I didn't want to touch anything uh, the rest in, of the uh, night. In, uh, in summary, uh, Spies in Disguise is the movie you should watch yeah. this weekend. I think that's watch what we're, that going, one. <laughs> we're going with. Thank you, Justice, and thanks again <laughs> to our friends at Maya Cinemas. The movie industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews. Our reviews.